Hey everyone, say Terman here again, and today we're gonna continue our showcase of OPOA Marco. Today we have three games, all against Black Lucy. You guys are only, you guys are probably tired of Lucy just as much as I am. Like I play rank sim, and all you run against is those Lucy players. But to be fair, that's gonna be the same thing when you go to your locals, when you go to your regionals, when you go to your treasure cups. Lucy is the best deck of the game for a reason. So. That's why you keep seeing these videos of me just having leader versus Lucy, because I think it's actually very useful to understand how to pilot this matchup. Now, I actually think, I actually think that we're favorable in that Lucy matchup. Like, opponent needs to really high roll to be able to deal with the amount of pressure that we're able to put in if we start finding our Sanjis into our Rayleigh's, as you're going to see in the three games coming up today. Like, we're able to have so much tempo. And again, that's why I like this version as well, the, being able to develop two bodies at once with Ace, because the opponent has a hard time being able to get rid of both bodies at once early on in the game, right? And being able to do minus two to their units every time allows us to be able to attack into their units making it so that their counter in their hand is a little bit less valuable than usual. And if they get too greedy with too many cards in hand, you also have pudding. So it ends up being a really good matchup in my opinion. We're able to deal with Rebecca really nice with Marco and Rayleigh, as you're gonna see in the, in the three games today. So if you're looking to like counter Lucy and you don't wanna play like black, yellow Luffy, maybe try out Marco, maybe try Marco. But anyways, hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. We're gonna have one more video with Marco coming out tomorrow. Check, make sure to check out yesterday's video where it's where we did a pretty long in the breakdown if you're trying to get an idea of my card choices here. So anyways, enjoy in the games. In this match, we're going against Rob Mushi. So of course we go second. Uh, we don't have any of the things that I really want like to uh, we don't have the Sanji, we don't have the Ace, right? So unfortunately, we still don't have it. Um, hmm. I guess we can just cycle with Mark on next turn and also just go Pilla. Since we don't have anything else better to play. So I'm looking for the Ace, right? The 5 cost Ace. I'm looking for the Marco, uh, for the uh, 9 cost Sanji, sorry. Because we need to be able to flood the board here. To actually be able... I mean, not this time, but the next time we can cycle. That's what I meant. And at turn four, we can cycle with Pilaf and the Marco. Uh, I guess I could have cycled this turn. Yeah, yeah, I could have cycled this turn. That was my bad. I could have indeed cycled this turn. Uh, let's take it. So this is the Sanji. So that will set us up for our 10 down turn at least, right? So uh, let's go here. Mm. I guess we'll go like this. Hmm. So I like this. So this will let me play the next turn. So I guess we'll place. Split this on the top and just go minus here. We'll attack it. Doesn't really matter. And then we'll just play pillar. Next turn, we can go ahead and put the speed jail on the top of our deck and summon it with the ace. While also attacking the opponent for six. I think I have to give them the 2k counter here. But they lose the Isho. Yeah, so they're gonna just cycle, boom, boom, do their stuff. Like, obviously, the annoying part here is if the, like, if the opponent is able to get rid of both units, that's when it starts getting really complicated. This can KO the Khalifa, but we can just wait that for later. I think I'd rather just develop. I think I'd rather put two units down on the field right now while the opponent's gonna go to seven down next turn. So they probably wanna they're gonna attack and probably play Jack and be able to kill the speed yield that way. So yeah, so we'll go like this. Uh place on the top. We're gonna play speed yield on the top, right? Doesn't matter. We'll attack here. We'll play ace and get the speed yield right on top. So now we have two bodies on the field, right? And again, the opponent likely can just attack and go ahead and put their um, their thing on the top. So next that we have eight. We can go Marco. Actually, okay, so this is minus two. This is minus two. Jack is right. Jack is at eight. Oh, man, I, 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 I would literally need to play. I would, I would need to play both of Thomas just to kill the Jack. And I don't think that's worth it. So... They attack, get this down to three, and then Jack can actually kill the speed jail. 
and you won't be able to do anything against the Jack. We don't have like a White Beer or a Rayleigh to actually make this Sanji turn worth it. Um, I guess we can always go Pilaf next and they try to draw into one of those big nine cast bodies. Missing that cycle in the first turn might have actually made a difference. But I had enough, I had a lot of two good counters that I also didn't want to just put to the bottom. So if they attack for five again, we're assuming that it's going to be a jack. We have eight done next turn. Hmm. I guess I don't have to use the peel off. I can always just play the Marco and keep this peel off to be able to, to be able to keep the Marco alive if the opponent tries to kill it. So that's going to be five down, one down the marker to cycle. That's going to be six. At least maybe two down, which can be a seven, seven, or we can go one. We can go six, seven. Okay. Especially if the opponent does play the jack, then I guess we'll, we'll do exactly what I talked about, right? So, um, I might take this one. It's kind of scary. Like I have to assume that this is the jack. Yeah. So jack, right? So this can go minus two, minus two, but this only kills a 3k or less. So obviously we know that our, um, like I would have to literally put double the timer to actually get that to work. I guess what I can do, I can always give it minus two and just attack into it. I could always just play one timer and just attack into it. Hmm. This is interesting. Do I want to place this Sanji? Honestly, the fact that I don't have anything else right now makes me feel like I want to do it. So I have to make a choice. Do I want to kill a Jack or do I want to kill a Khalifa? I have to, I think I have to kind of kill this Jack. Yeah, I think I have to kind of kill the Jack, huh? So if we go here, that's already at six. This is gonna be a six K, so that's gonna force two cards out of the opponent. Okay. Um can go here first. Don't get anything special. I guess I'll grab the two K for now. We can go pill off, and I guess we can attack for seven. It's the Rayleigh, so at least we'll be able to play the Rayleigh with the Sanji next turn. Yeah, sure. Let's go for seven. Obviously, the opponent is just going to take this, right? Because they, they still have four life. So I guess next turn we're going to go Sanji with the Rayleigh. Opponents can probably play... Like, by getting rid of the Jack, it does make them a little bit more awkward in, way that, in ways that they have to, like, KO my units. I hate to give it up to Otama, right? It's a 2k, but I think I kind of... I, I guess I didn't have to use the Otama. Yeah, they're just going to KO... They're going to go Lucy and KO both. They don't have Rebecca, so they cannot just go Rebecca, Lucy... Uh, Rebecca expanding, right? They have to just straight up play the Lucy and KO both of these. Um, This can go KO one of your opponent's guys with a cost of 3k. So I can give him... I can give... Minus two to the gecko with the leader that takes it down to seven and minus three takes it down to four. So that's not enough to kill it. Yeah, so that's not gonna be enough to kill him, fortunately. So it has to be instead. Now I wish I could the second Sanji, huh? So we can go. I guess we can still give. We can give minus two to the spandam, I guess, and just attack it with the Otama. This is gonna give. Or I can give this a minus three and give this minus two twice. And kill it that way. I can do it that way. We'll go like this. Uh we'll give minus two, because we're gonna give the minus three. For the next turn for the Gekko Moria. So then we'll go here for six, and then we'll play the Sanji into the into the Rayleigh that's on the top. So 
So minus three, minus two, and then we KO this one. That way this becomes a Setsuke on the next turn and it's easier for me to counter out of it. Opponent can KO one of these, but I don't think it, I don't think it, I don't think that they can KO both. I have a lot of 2k counters, but because we sent away that second Sanji, since I didn't have another big body, I didn't want to keep that second Sanji as a dead card in my hand. Because we sent away that second Sanji, it makes my next turn a little bit more awkward. We can control their board by killing like the geckos and stuff, but the opponent still has access. Now they have their back on the trash, right? So if they have an Ice Age, they can go like Ice Age into Rebecca, into Spandine, into Lushi to be able to get rid of one of these two. I guess there's, let me see, if they have double Ice Age, can, get, can, can they get rid of both? Ice Age here gets it to three. Ice Age here gets it to four. Minus one with leader gets it down to two. This is going to be a four. If you play your, you have a Mepo. Yeah, if they have double Ice Age, they can kill both. Double Isis can kill both because they can again go Gecko, Rebecca, Helmepo. Helmepo minus three, and then go Spanding and stuff like that. I'm still I'm not too done, so it's not like I'm that safe, right? But the, the Rayleigh at least makes it so that the Gecko Morias is not like a huge attack. It's only a 6k attacker instead of being a 9k. That's why I ended up doing the way that I did it. There's a chance that by leaving the Spandam alive, the opponent can attack with the Spandam, but that's a 3 done commitment. They already have the Khalifa to be able to attack better than the Spandam, right? So I don't, I don't think it was necessary for us to kill the Spandam when they already had the Khalifa on the field as an additional attacker. Uh, we don't have a lot of stuff, right? We don't have a lot of defenses here. Second rail is not bad, right? Because again, it lets me go minus three, making this a 6k, which allows me to attack into it with the Rayleigh and even the Sanji if I need to. If I had the second Sanji, definitely regret sending away the second Sanji, huh? Okay, so yeah, this is the minus one. That's your second Gekko. That's the first Ice Age. You have the second one? They don't even have a Gekko. So they're just going to KO this too then. Ooh. Okay, I, I, if they play Sabo, then my Rayleigh cannot kill anything, huh? Yeah, if, if they have five done exactly, so I'm guessing that this has to be a Sabo. If it's a Sabo, again, it's pretty good, because it means that the opponent can just save their units from the Rayleigh killing them. Yep, there you go. Um, so the Rebecca stays alive. The opponent gets value from the Rebecca no matter what. The really still, still makes sense, I think. The really is good to kill the Sabo though, later. But I guess we can always kill Rebecca as well with it. Uh, with a Marco, right? If they don't attack with the Gecko, okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. So we have Rayleigh here. So we can get this all the way down to four. Get this down to two. I guess I can force the opponent to. I have to I have to get I have to let go of this, right? So I can go here. And I guess we'll go here again. And, and I know I'm not killing them, right? I know I'm not killing them. So this is at four. This at four. This at seven. Even if the opponent saves them both, I will be okay. 
So if the opponent tries to save them both by blocking twice, I'll be okay because this will still have the minus three permanently. This has the minus two, not permanently, before the next turn, right? So uh, we'll just go like this. We'll just go like this and just let them save their units if they want to. Okay. So once again, you need to have Ice Age. We, we, they returned the second Gecko to the bottom of their deck. So we know that last time they didn't have Gecko. They would have had to draw it, which, I mean, they had the Sabo, right? They had the Sabo draw, and then they just had their natural draw here. So it's not impossible for them to draw that. What I can do, I don't need to, I don't need to KO the Sabo. What I can do is just give a minus two and just KO the Rebecca instead. And that way the opponent still cannot block with that Sabo. And again, a lot of this is from killing the Jack, right? The Jack has made it more aqua for them to find exactly enough reduction. Hmm. I have to be careful here. I think I counter this. I think I'd rather keep the two lives than give that up. They have the second Ice Age, okay? So they have the second Ice Age, and they do the same thing again. But this time, they don't have a Sabo to follow up with. So I guess we can KO the Rebecca and then do the stuff. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the problem now is that obviously I won't be able to KO both units. I guess I can KO the Rebecca. Do I want to give the minus two to the Sour or do I want to just give the minus two to the Lucy? Laboon? Okay, I guess I have to go minus two here, right? I guess I don't even kill the Rebecca. I just kill this car. Yeah, right, because minus three, minus three, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's place this bad boy in the bottom. We'll go like this. We'll go here, right? So then uh, we can go pill off if we need to. So we'll go like that. Uh, actually, let's attack for seven first. Is there any one draw that I'd rather get? I guess let's go here first. Okay, that's the white beer. Let's go here. Uh, do I want to attack their life or do I want to just attack into the Lushi? I think I'm going to just attack into the Lushi, force the opponent to give me the 2k or the blocker. They didn't give me the 2k, so they're taking this for sure. Or they can just give me the blocker here, I guess. Imagine if we top back another Sanji and I could play the Sanji into the new gate. That's going to be pretty solid. I'm low on car value, but the new gate will get me up to 7k leader. The Marco, we can always save it by giving up the Bad Manners kick course if we need to. Or I think I need to actually save it. Ah, uh, Isho. That's a good Isho. I, I did not play around the Isho. That's that's on me. That that's entirely on me then. That is entirely on me, my friends. Wow, I completely forgot about Isha. Minus three. I think I'm just going to do what I did with the Gecko, where... Mm, technically, this is 3k, which is the same as that. Yeah, let's go here. We'll go like this. We'll go six. Pony has pretty, like, so my mistake there was that I didn't play around the issue, so I ended up losing a 2k counter and the new gate, and I really needed a new gate this time. I needed to go to seven, because now the opponent just has two big attacks here. 
again but putting this to setsuke ended up kind of being almost the same thing because this ended up being minus three but the, the plus two here will have also affected the lucy attack so that would have made a big difference we have 2k 2k and a 3k so we can actually go to 12 9 12 yeah we can go to 12 and then marco can actually get rid of one of the rebecca's and that's the opponent goes for nothing else I'm actually, I guess, honestly, I might be okay with that issue. Because he ended up meaning, meaning that the opponent really didn't do anything last time. Yeah, here they have to give me one Rebecca. So they have to give me one Rebecca. Which means the other Rebecca we can KO with the Marco. If this Marco stays in my hand, right? I might have to use it. But the opponent only has, I guess, one blocker. I mean, they could easily have another Savo. So again, this is 9, 12. Opponent has 10 down, has a 6k body and a 5k body. They can go, I guess, 10, 10 and 11. And 10 and 11 is really easy for us to beat. If they go anything less than 10, we can keep a marker in my hand to get rid of the Rebecca. I guess if they play a Sabo, that could be a problem. Maybe we keep the bad manners kick course to be able to actually keep another unit on the field. Hmm. If for me to have protected against that 7k, I would have to use the bad manner kick course last turn. So 10. So they can go 14, 9, 12. Oh no, that's not 10, sorry, that's 7. <laughs> Remember, minus 3, that's 7. I was like, why is my math not mathing right now? Yeah, this has minus 3, so this is only at 7. The minus 3 with the issue does make it so the opponent could potentially give it to my board. They have used... They have the Spandine, right? So they can go Spandine, Rebecca Spandine again. Rebecca Spandine, get these guys low enough to KO two of them with Lucy. So that's where the Batman is kickers to save this marker comes into play. So we can save the marker with the Batman is kickers. And as long as the opponent is not targeting these two units with the removal, we should be okay. Like as long as, as long as I keep my leader and this two and two units alive, I think I should be able to get through. They have seven cards, no life. They're gonna have two blockers, I guess. But again, one of them we can give it to the Marco, assuming that the opponent doesn't find a Sabo. They're running out of time. Okay, so they use two Dawn here. Wow. So I'm going to give them this 2k. I might need this rusher. I'm going to I'm going to commit to saving the marker with the bad manners and having the other marker to kill the Rebecca. Yeah, there you go. So the opponent can KO it and we're just going to bring it back. So Rebecca I definitely think playing Marco makes sense to get rid of their blocker. Yeah, so they will be, they'll be able to kill the the Rayleigh and the Marco. So they'll be able to kill the Rayleigh and the Marco. They have six cards in their hand. They have one blocker and we'll have three attacks. We'll have 10 down after this. We can go nine. I'm oh, sorry. We can go. Yeah, so we'll go like this. So let me think about this again. Five for the Marco. We left with five down left. We can go seven, nine, nine. So two nines and a seven. The seven is two cards. The nine will have to be a lot of cards. Yeah, it's, it's gonna have to be like that. It's gonna have to be seven and two nines and two nines, right? So we start with the first nine. 
we know that the opponent has one blocker anyways, right? So this ends up being okay. Yeah. So then we go like this, KO this one. We go another nine, and then we go seven. So that's going to be three cards, and then the seven is going to have to be two cards. And they don't have it. All right. So GG's. In this match, we're going against Lushi. When he chose to go second, unfortunately for us, um, that's not a bad hand, but I think I want to look for my pillups and my Sandy. Let's grab this ace. This ace might be important. Let's me just fill the board up, right? Um, ooh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. I want to cycle. I want to cycle. So I'm going to put this guys in the bottom. And I'm just going to attack the opponent for A here. Net sand. I guess we can go Atmos. Yeah, I think I like the Atmos. Oh, the opponent will be able to easily kill this Atmos, I guess. But at least I forced him to have to actually do it. I think I like playing the Atmos. I think I like playing the Atmos, forcing the opponent to have to actually go into it then. Like have to actually commit a removal into this Atmos by attacking with the Kusan. I want them to attack with Kusan. I need them to attack with Kusan. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So uh, we can go like this. We'll take the second hit. The opponent does their thing. I will take in the second hit so that we can have Marco enable going forward. And then they go Sabo. What? Well, that's not what I expected. Interesting. Interesting. I think I like the Marco over a second Atmos. Now, here's the thing, right? Like, I can force the opponent to block. Then go six. I guess they could just play a cost Moria next turn and just get that Kusan back. We start with the six and then we can go seven. If opponent wants to give me two cards here, two two Ks, and then have to give me another two K here, I'm okay with that. Okay, they don't go for it. So I guess we'll just again go seven. I might honestly just play Newgate next time straight up. Might have to honestly just play Newgate straight up. The Newgate lets me be able to deal with like any Rebecca's. Although I guess I never want to really put two down on the, on the Newgate. But it's at least a big. I wish I had Rayleigh instead. Rayleigh would be so much better next time. I only played two new gates and four railings, right? So the fact that we naturally drew these two is kind of interesting. Yeah, you're gonna. Okay, so it's not. It has to be a jack, I'm guessing then. Okay. So it's a jack. And again, this is where Rayleigh will be so much better as well, because he lets us KO the Sabo while also reducing the, the, uh, the other one. Because I'm going to have to let that jack stay alive, I think. I guess I don't have to. I can just not play. I could just not play. I can just play pudding instead, right? I was thinking if I wanted to play peel off. I guess... 
like it has to be i have to get rid of payoff or i have to get rid of the new gate so we have we if we play we go minus two here get this down to six right we play pudding that leaves me with four down so we can attack it for eight twice and that's gonna force the blocker so i don't think i have the room to play the payoff i can keep the new gate to sacrifice it for the marco so we'll go here we'll go here get this minus two We'll go pudding, get rid of two cards. And this is going to be an 8k. That's going to force two cards. A 2k and a 1k after I just made you swap your whole hand. So they lost three cards and they will have to give me two more cards here to save this jack. Getting rid of this jack is very important though. Okay, so it's still going to be the same, right? I still have another AK attack, so you give me the blocker, and you still have to give me two cards here. They don't have it. Whoa, okay, that's huge. That's huge. Because now next turn, we just go Sanji into Newgate and start our pain of having these big bodies. And they still lost three cards last time. They could have Gecko here, but it's not like we have any of our big bodies yet. They also don't have... Uh, they do have the Spanding, right? So Ice Age on something that's not a 9 cost, that's huge. That's actually huge. They get Khalifa, they lose the Gecko. They have another Gecko. They go Rebecca, they're going to go the Spanding, right? So we know they have a 2k in their hand. They have another 2k in their hand. So they have two 2k's in their hand. Do you even have Lucian? I didn't see the Lucian in your trash. I'm assuming you do. They don't have Lucian in the trash, by the way. Oh, they don't have Lucian. So... They don't have Lucian. So, Khalif... They have three 2k counters in their, in their hand. Is what they went for. I can block and just give them this new gate, or I can just give them the 1k right now. Let's go like this. Um, it doesn't really matter, right? I guess he makes it so that this can kill that. We know we're gonna go Sanji into White Beer, right? So this is gonna become a bigger attacker. And uh, oh, we'll just go for eight. Why not give me the Rebecca? Unless you have a Sabo that Rebecca is gonna die next time to the new game. Like, unless you have a Sabo that Rebecca is not gonna stay alive. I still think Rayleigh will be so much better in this in this situation. We know that the opponent has at least two two, two more two Ks in their hand because they only used one last turn. Mm, technically, yeah, technically I can go here, and it's better than giving a two K one K. They can attack it with Lucy, and I just give them the speed jill. We can have peel off next turn and put two down in the new gate to get rid of the Rebecca if the opponent does not get rid of this new gate this turn. I wonder if it's actually better for me. Yeah, okay, so they, they do exactly as expected. They only have eight down, right? So. Yeah, we let it go and we just get rid of the speed jill. I guess they have another gecko. So this is going to be their third gecko because one of them got trash. We know the opponent has two two case in their hand. Yeah, third gecko. All right, cool. Uh, you do have another Rebecca, so you still can go expanding again, which they will. Maybe. I don't know. So two Rebecca. So two Rebecca's makes it a little bit harder for the new get to do much, to be honest. 
What I can do is I can threaten this gecko. Or should I just threaten their life? Okay. Minus three. Still don't have Lushi. Oh, they no, they still don't have Lushi, right? You still don't have Lushi, friend. I'm confused. Me very confused, guys. <laughs> I don't have any big any more big bodies, by the way, so that's a little bit frustrating. Okay, so they're just gonna cycle. Alright. That's the Lushi finally. That's that's an aqua half for the for the opponent. I feel bad. I do feel I do feel bad. Um let's start with the pillar. This are this are big uh, really, right? This is kind of what we were looking for. We can put two down on the new game to get rid of the Rebecca. Do we still need this really? I guess the really can still get us value. So this is at seven, this is at nine. We can attack for 11 and then it's going to be at 12, right? So we can attack it for 11. That's going to be three cards. Okay. And then we know for sure that it's going to just die no matter what we do, right? And then we can go seven twice into the opponent's leader. We know the opponent has two 2k counters, so I kind of like the seven twice. I have a choice, friend. You have choices. Let's go four. There's no way. If they try to save this, okay, I was gonna say, if you try to save that, I'm chilling, right? Yeah, we just go seven. You have to give me two cards each time. We know you, you we know you have two two Ks, so that's why I don't want to do the sixes. Yeah, we know you have two two Ks, so I don't want to do the sixes. We just go double seven. Still has one more two K that we don't that we haven't seen. But then next turn, we still have a pretty big attack, right? So, I'm chilling. I can block, right? And just give this up. We have another Joseph that we can give up if we need to. And we have 3k counter worth. Yeah, the, Mar the Marcos are really annoying for black, right? Because I just keep bringing them back. You really show me three geckos, so this will have to be your fourth one. I mean, opponent had an awkward hand. Let let's admit it. They didn't find Lucian to so live into the game, which allowed these units to stay alive. This unit should not be alive. Like, at all. So, it's unfortunate for them, but it is what it is, right? Uh, let's protect ourselves just in case that I will actually need to do something. They can go Rebecca and to Savo here. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, oh, yeah, it has to be, right? So we they know they have two 2k counters. They have to have another Savo in their hand, though, since they didn't grab the Savo. That's, that would be their fourth Savo. So we know they have, that, we know they have two 2k counters in their hand. Two 2k counters. Um, there has to be Sabo, because otherwise the Rebecca dies. They cycle their hand to make it better. There's the Sabo. There we go. Yeah, you, you have to. You have to, right? There's no other way about it. Um, Two blockers, one life. Four cards. 
So we have a 9, 9, 7, 9, 10, 5. Okay, this should be easy, right? We always start with the 9, because it's forcing all three cards out of their hand. And if they counter right now, then it makes it easy for me to just put down everywhere else. Uh, this is technically a 10, so this is better afterwards. Um, I think we just go 9 again. Because again, if they counter now, I'm still in a decent spot. If they don't counter, we have 11 and 11. We know the opponent has two 2k counters, so two 2k counters this into nine, another 2k. Okay, yeah, so let's force him to have to let's force him to have to block and defend out of the eleven. We they have two 2k counters that we know of, so we know they can go to nine. They still need to have another 2k and a 1k to actually be able to get there. Uh yeah, we'll just attach everything here. Um and just attack for eleven. Okay, there we go. So, ended up that the opponent didn't have enough to defend the 11. If they defended that 11, by the way, I think what I would have done is that I would have focused on clearing their board instead. Um, I would have just attacked this one, and that way the opponent only has these three units, and I still have two lives and a blocker, right? So, it would have been tough for them to actually get there. I could have also, honestly, just like attack like we could have gone our leader ability to get this down to 2k attack it with the pudding to get rid of it attack this to get rid of it with the marco or vice versa and the opponent will only have two units and even though we don't have the blocker we still have two lives and the opponent wouldn't be able to kill us right so so that's why defending last time was also important so the opponent wouldn't be able to quote unquote go for lethal here if they actually manage to survive this one attack. So it in is. this match, we're going against Rob Lush, and we'll always go first. And we have, honestly, we have everything that we need. So we have our, our, our turn here, right? We can do anything. We can do anything, man. Um, hmm. Do I want to keep, do I want to keep the second Rayleigh? Or do I want to start looking for something I can, I mean, I can always play the Marco out, I guess. Yeah, let's just place it in the top. I, I want to have both Rayleigh's. I think the Rayleigh's are going to be really important for us. It lets, it lets us get rid of their units, right? Uh, we can keep this pudding. Maybe the pudding gets greedy at some point. It's kind of annoying. Because obviously this guy will be able to do their stuff. Let's see if we get... Okay, so this is a good draw. Because this is going to be going on with the stuff. I still think this hand is pretty good. Including the Marco. The Marco ends up being really nice in this matchup. So let's just place it on the top still, and we'll just attack for the remainder. We'll attack for nine. Um, next turn, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, draw right there. Maybe we just play the mark on next turn. Well, the mark is gonna get removed. Um, no, I want to play the Atmos. The problem is this Kusan. This Kusan is gonna be a problem. So I might have to actually just go for this mark instead to get rid of the Kusan now. I don't think I can afford to play this ace. I don't have a way to save the marker though. I don't have any events in my hand. Yeah, I think I have to get rid of the Kusan. Even if I will I would I would like to play my ace into like another unit. The Kusan, between the Kusan and the Brook is too easy for them to remove both units. So we go ahead and kill the Kusan. Um Let's place let's place stuff in the bottom. I think I don't need this ace anymore. We'll go like this. And again, we'll just KO with the marker. Don't have any don't have any bent though, so the marker can just get popped. Next to we're eight. We can choose to not cycle and just go Rayleigh and then settle for the ace plus Rayleigh. That's so risky because again, if I had it, if I had it, you just like get screwed over. If I had an event here, you just get so screwed over. So they get the jack. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> you're so lucky. So lucky. Um, 
Hmm. I can go Rayleigh again. And I can just pop their stuff. If that's the case, we're probably not going to use this Marco anymore, to be honest. There's also the question of putting. The opponent has eight cards. Like, the pudding looks really good right here. So what if that's the play? What if that's the play? What if we just go pudding? I think it has to just be pudding. I think it has to be pudding and we just play Marco. We'll go like this. And then we play the Marco and just pass. And then next up we can go Sandy into Rayleigh. The Marco is going to continue. I mean, we can sacrifice the Ace. Did you end up getting the jack as well? It's possible. We'll give you this pudding. They might have gotten the jack after my pudding anyways. Okay, they didn't. They're just going to play Brook. Oh. No. Wait, you just made it so easy for me. Okay, so I mean, I guess I just go Braille and just do my stuff, right? Like, it doesn't even matter which way I do this. We can get rid of one Rebecca with the Sanji and the Rayleigh and just go from there. Yeah, like, whatever. We're just going to go minus three, minus two, and just pop this. And uh, I guess I want to keep the Marco, honestly. I don't think I want to attack with it. Yeah, if you use it, you're going to just get punished by my second really next thing. As soon as I can kill that Jack, I'm okay. Opponent act ended up having to use a 2k counter on top of that. A 2k counter and a Tempest Kick. Wow. That's so crazy. That is so crazy. Uh, this is annoying, though. I guess I, I, I guess I can use the blocker. It's the same thing. Yeah, like we go here and we just trash Atmos, I guess. The opponent casos the Rayleigh, but like, look what's going to happen here. We can go second Rayleigh. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go. Um, do I care about any of these cards? I think I'm going to place it in the bottom. I think I'm going to place it in the bottom. We're going to give this minus two, right? And then we can give it minus three with the Rayleigh. Give this to minus two and just KO that. So this is going to be a 3K right now. So as a 3K, you can go here, force a 2K out of your hand. If you want to save it, you don't save it. So we can go seven and nine. And that's what makes Rayleigh so good is that you can just get rid of this Rebecca so easily. Um, I could give them this Marco, but again, I don't, I don't feel like attacking with the Marco just yet. And we still have two more to be able to bring it back. The opponent needs to have Ice Age, and they already showed me one Ice Age and three Tempest Kicks, so that's the fourth Tempest Kick. They also don't have a Helmepo in the trash, because I haven't KO'd this Helmepo here. So they don't even have, like, the Helmepo to actually get value from this. So we can just give them the 1k here. It's the same thing as blocking with the Marco. Yeah, you don't have Helmepo. Oh, no, they found another Helmepo. Okay, so they found another Helmepo here. So they'll be able to do this. And all they're doing is KOing that. All right, cool. But you know what's going to happen, right? It's going to be another Rayleigh. We can give this minus three, give, like, something else minus two, and just do our stuff. At this point, opponent only has one life. So how are they beating this? I mean... I guess I could just... No, I want to be safe. I want to be safe, so let's go here. Let's place this in the bottom. Um, We can also just honestly... So, minus three. So we can go here. 
minus three, minus two, and just kill the Rebecca, right? So now we can just attack into this Lucy for four. And now we can go seven into, into eight. Um, can they kill us if I let go of this blocker? Ten down. This is a six. This is a five. Yeah. <laughs> I was debating if I want to attack with the Marco this time. We ended up getting a Sanji pill up in our life, which makes sense. We hadn't seen a single one yet. So, GG's. What I was thinking is like, if I attack with Marco, I'm even up a 1k right now. And I'm leaving myself vulnerable. They have 10 down. We have... Uh, 1k and then at 3k so we got going to 9 there's no way that they would have been able to kill me right because we go to 9 this is a 6 this is a 5 even if they go like they can go 9 9 and then they can go a 5 wouldn't have been enough so i was safe to attack with the marker this time because we know the opponent also doesn't have any rushers uh and he he just eats up another car out of their hand this turn allow me to just set up for like another time uh, another like Make it make it so they have less cards for the next turn where we have to kill them. And if they have another Rebecca blocker, that's why we kept that Marco in our hand. And what we kept giving up the other cards instead. So really, really so good. Right? We saw all we saw three of them. One of them cheated out with the Sanji, and the opponent couldn't do anything. They got lucky that we didn't have another Sanji, even after all the cycle that we were doing. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games against Lucy. And it's what I was talking about, right? Like, I feel like those matchups are actually pretty favorable for us, uh, especially once we start dropping like double big bodies at once. It requires the opponent to have a very specific hand of like double ice age. And the other reason why I think this matchup is really good for us is because we have good ways of dealing with their jack. Like their jack, yes, it becomes like this really high cost unit, but it's only an 8k body. So as an 8k body, you're able to actually reduce it enough between your Marco and your Rayleigh that you can attack into it and actually force the opponent to either give you a ton of car or have to let that Jack go. And with a Jack in the field, it can be really easy. And when they play like their Rebecca stuff, like they're getting to Rebecca stuff, again, you have Rayleigh to get rid of the Rebecca while still giving their units minus three, minus two, making it harder for them to actually swim back into you on the next turn. So it ends up being really valuable here. We have to see the pudding get us value. It's also really hard for them to deal with these Marcos because even when they kill it, they keep continuing to come back. So you're able to still have those bodies in the field, which is another big advantage that you have with the Marco leader versus uh, the Lucy player. So hopefully this video kind of let you understand how to pilot that matchup because again, it's going to be one of the most popular matchups that you're going to run into. So anyways, hope you enjoyed today's games. If you did, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. We have one more video of Marco coming out tomorrow. Uh, if you like our content, make sure to also find us on Twitch at the time we're streaming every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.